Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Being where I left off last time, brought Privus, uh, not Privus, Ranger Mara's body back to the NCR so his wife can get some closure. Gains me nothing but, hey, it's the right thing to do. So let's go talk to this Dazzle about the. this missing trooper. Which means heading back to the strip. Into Gamora. I wonder if I'll actually bother if I'll bother doing anything with them. Company. What? Oh, for crying out loud. Yep. Well, that was kind of pointless. Like, what the hell was that guy thinking? <sighs> Luck five, so not worth really going gambling. Hmm, does that gun count as a holdout weapon? We're about to find out. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. I guess it does. Now, yeah, let's go have a chat with... This... Up yours. Oh yeah, what was it? This way? Never remember the place at this place. Copy. You can tell I just do not come in here the other way. God damn it. Yeah, I should give Boone a forty-four Magnum just for pulled out purple. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. Yeah. So you followed the call of your desires all the way. I have zero interest in any of this. Hello? Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. You spend time with a trooper named Weiss? Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He's gone missing, trying to track him down. He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. Stay around. Be a stranger. Hmm. Hello and welcome to Gamora. I sh All right. You look pretty trustworthy. Gossip is I've heard some pretty shit. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs. Hmm. 
So, where to? Aircropper farms. Is there something I can do for you? I'm a private in the... Although, if you... I do get to take shots at marauding mole. Oh, you'd better believe it. I... The fiends are scary because they're unpredictable. And the next day, they'll come right... Current orders are to hold the line and nothing... I guess it's a tricky situation. I shouldn't have... All right. Some of the farmers, especially French Trent. Personally, I think they're just... Well, it seems like Mr. Baskin has been up to something else now. I probably need a drink. Yep. Still a little dirty work to get rid of. Nope. No stealing. Mr. Baskin? I'm looking for a corporate wife. So he's spoken to you? Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. That stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't do more help for you. Yeah, that's, it. that's enough for now. Work these fields? Sure do. Came from the hub on account of the Thaler Act. Farming's decent work, but the whole thing's a bum deal. Why's that? Bad soil and ration water. It's to be expected around here. But the rationing's off. Worst part is NCR won't admit it. Pretty hard to meet their crop quotas with 20% less water than was supposed to be in. Not that OSI cares about any of this. What crops do you grow? Everything I can. Farmers out here don't have the luxury of being picky. I get by mostly on maize and tobacco. Okay. Actually, I'll go talk with the lieutenant. Adios. Oh. Lieutenant Romanowski? I'm not a recruitment officer. If you want to join the army, I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. Uh, I'm looking for Corporal White. Trent told me you'd seen him. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof he did. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to West Side to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people in West Side grow crops or something. Crops in West Side. And the apparent short here can't be a coincidence then. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier. Not a scientist. I just do my job. Haven't seen him. Serves him right if the NCR declares a Maywall. Is there something against him? He's a glory hound. Always looking for a way to get promoted to Ranger. Thinks he's too good to be a regular trooper like the rest of us. Huh. Anyway, I'll see you around. There Oh, does the plot thicken a little bit? Over to west side and have a check. Yeah. That was even a thing. Welcome to Casa Madrid, cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for prunes, talk to the whores. This apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something, but I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Okay.
Welcome to the Casa Madrid. If you got an itch need scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. Here's the merchandise. Three flavors to choose from. Sweetie, Mod, and Jimmy. Sweetie's the house favorite for reasons that should be obvious. Mod is what you might call the discount rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweetie, or just like the mold. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. Did you get burned so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Hmm. Tom Anderson? Tom Anderson. Can I help you? I heard uh, Corporate White came here to investigate a water shortage. No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. <laughs> it was quite easy to figure out that the water, NCR water shortage points to you. Save me, sir. I am will ya. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. I'd rather not turn you in, but someone else might come looking for White. If the NCR thinks White was killed by, say, members from the Scorpions gang, it may be enough for them to close the case. Not option here. Etc. It's done. You stay free. Westside keeps getting water, and the NCR might just might just pick on the scorpions as well. Thank you. What happened was regrettable, but I'll make sure it never happens again. That was easier than expected. Let's see, back to my or have a look around West Side first. See if there's any other exits or other places I've missed. This son of a bitch. Is his name? Doesn't seem to be any exits out this way, as I can see. Back to my Karen, and I know I'm kind of receiving Miss uh, Lieutenant Boyd, but I may pick it up. I'll help her with that in this Legion prisoner she's got. upstairs or yes she is hey and you're back I have an update on Corporal White don't tell me who married the hooker gang called the scorpions murdered him yeah you know those guys out to the northwest west just west of west side that's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? Yeah, that's him. He does want you to increase the water flows at free sites so that'd be lost otherwise. Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the colonel would listen to that. 
I'll talk to him about it. But you, I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. Mm. The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Are you going to help with this fella in here? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for MCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. A big deal? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up. Even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. What about a truth drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. So, I suppose just being him senseless is out of question. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Let's get started then. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Steely. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a decent slave collar on it. Oh, Paul. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in the fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough to make it swallow or turn them ahead to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, Boss and Cars Hope. Of me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. Hmm, we'll see about that. You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Steely, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I'm with the Legion. I'm here to kill you before you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. 
How naive, Silos. Corruptio optimia pessima. Kaiser sees you as a threat now. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him, that is. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Kaiser's laws are absolute. He does not grant exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. So, in addition to treason, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this man is trying to kill me. He's not who you think he is. All that shouting. Honestly, Silas, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this man is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I need. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silas. Of course I'm right. Except I don't care, because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silas. Carry on. Lieutenant! You don't have to do this. Oh, but I do, Silas. Unlike you, I follow Kaiser's orders. If I'd killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. If his empire falls, it'll probably be because Tankurian Kentorians are so gullible. What? What do you mean? You've been tricked, Silas. I'm working with the NCR. I just got you. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm going to talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So mm -hmm. think of this as your commission. Glad to, glad to help, Tent. Yep. Alright, let's go check out the confiscated stuff. Doctor's bags, I always need those. Not much here that's useful to me. Right, where next? Bolt 3 to get rid of that? Maybe. You know what? I think it's time we went down towards Cottonwood Cove. Oh, quick uh, pit stop at Novak. Mm. 
and we will see what happens next. Any? Any spare guns here? No, I could probably sell that. Oh. Hmm. Want the stuff to sell off as well. So I'm gonna sleep for the night and sell off the extra stuff. Alright, so let's go chat with Mr. Whitcliff and start making my way down to the south. Is he in yet? Anything? Let's see what you've got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Here. I'm gonna be out of out of stuff here. God. Right, may as well take some of this uh say anything. Yeah, they've been upgraded. You know, let's just quickly get some of these. Break the line mill. Seven. Twelve gauge. Hmm, twenty gauge. Well, I'm not really really using the legion to make this stuff or anything, so sell it off. Right, if I hit out, we're probably going to run into some vipers. We'll probably need a, need a quick pull to the head. Ah uh, yes, there is a viper encampment here. Snipers. This looks like a good spot to snipe if I can do that with this. Nice. Doesn't seem to have done much. I actually managed to hit the oh, hit one. I'm getting close. Less vipers, less problems. Now the fact that all these little um six I like that all these minor bands of radios have such slightly different characteristics. That shows you how well written this game is. Right, that guy. Hmm. 
Because in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, these would just be random random groups of raiders. Here they've got very slightly different characteristics. Which kind of does fit, because the courier is supposed to be an experienced wastelander, so he probably knows all the... He or she, or they, probably know all the local gangs. Nice. Another... I crashed highly man down here, which some goodies. Hmm, blowfly. That was like a, probably a bit of a waste of ammo, but you know it. I'm sure I'm not gonna get hit by legionaries again. Let's see, there's some that really us here. We're scouting out a bit. Mark anyway. Bug Stomper. Screw it. Get up close at these guys. They're not worth sniping. What have we here? Ah, yes. This is the stuff that you would get if you were the, um, if you had the normal gate. But since I have the J Sawyer mod, which. Oh, for Christ's sake. Why am I bothering to aim for the head? Hmm. Infamy gained with them. Well, they attacked me. As I was about to say... The reason I didn't, didn't have any of that stuff to start with is because I'm using the J Sawyer mod, which removes that, among other things. I explicitly explained that away as I don't like pre order pre orders. So basically the courier's stash DLC has, has all been scattered around the wasteland. Where is that? They they just run off, Got away. or clip through the floor, or what? So as I was about to say, this stuff would have been in the or your stash DLC, but the uh, but Jay Sawyer, the guy who created. It was basically the um, called, called the creative lead for the game. He doesn't like uh, pre-orders like that, so what he ended up doing was creating his own mod that, among other things, replaces that entirely. Not the most useful thing, but it's kind of... Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Next episode... We're going to continue down south towards what was Camp Nelson, then towards Cottonwood Cove to try and, try and flesh out that, to just wipe that area out. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.